Let's push these back in. Maybe just push, pull them out slightly, just ever so slightly, and left click to lock that in. Just compress A to deselect. Okay, probably needs a little bit of work to tidy up, but I think the shape is there. Okay. I'm not sure if it's an improvement on him, but that's going to be it for this tutorial. I'm just going to press Control S and save that. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I think I'm just going to add the eye. I need to press Tab and left select Object Mode. I'm just going to right click with the cursor in this position and press shift A and under mesh I'm going to left select UV sphere. Now this has been brought in as a separate object in object mode because we need to make some modifications before we join it to the mesh. Okay so I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees so I'm going to press R for rotation X for the X axis, 9, 0 and enter. And I'm just going to press S and scale this down. Okay, left click to lock that in position. I'm just going to grab it here in side view. Press 3 for side view and I'm in front view here. So just press 1. I'm going to press S to scale again. And I'm in front orthographic with this and side right orthographic with this again you can toggle between perspective and orthographic by pressing five on the keypad okay i'm just going to drag this back so it stops overlapping with the face mesh okay what i'm going to do now is left left select our character press tab and enter edit mode going to press control tab and left select edge i'm just going to select press and hold alt and select this entire edge around the eye i'm just going to roll the middle mouse button just to, to zoom in here okay what i want to do is rotate this on the z axis so it's more or less comes in line with the front of or with the line of the sphere so i'm going to press r for rotation z for the z axis and just rotate this until both edges almost line up with one another okay and again i'm just going to grab this in the y and drag it back just to reform the outside of this eye shape okay so i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate and just gonna have a look and see did we do any didn't do too much damage i'm just going to press one for front view okay i'm going to come over here and press three and press z and left select wireframe mode okay i'm just going to press Control tab and left select vertex now what i can do is select some of these vertices and just drag them to create a little bit of a better shape in the x direction Okay, I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. I'm just going to press Z and toggle between to make sure I'm selecting, I'm not selecting the right one there. Okay, I am going to select them on this side and come over here and drag them in the X. Just want to, to make the best round shape I can make while I'm in this view. So I'm just going to press 1 again. I'm just going to drag this in the Z or in the X slightly. Just going to grab this one here, drag out. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle it just has to be a little bit better than than its current shape ok 
Okay, that's not looking too bad. I'd be happy with this. I'm going to press tab and left select object mode. I'm going to reselect the sphere and press tab and select edit mode. Okay, I'm just going to drag this up to roughly the center of the eye. Okay, and drag it over slightly. And I'm going to grab it and just drag it forward. I'm just going to press 1 for front view and go into solid and just see. Okay, he wouldn't be too bad at that position for the moment. It can always be shifted later. Okay, I'm just going to press tab and come back over to object mode. Now I'm going to press T to bring up this property panel and I'm with the sphere selected. You can come over here just to make sure. Let's drag this down and the sphere is highlighted. Just come over here and click smooth. Okay, I'm just going to press T to remove that panel. With the sphere selected, I'm going to press and hold shift and left select the mesh and press control J to join. Okay, and that pops a second eye in the opposite side. I'm just going to press tab now and enter edit mode. I'm going to press A to deselect these guys. Okay, I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. Okay, that's not looking too bad for the moment. Okay, I'm going to press Control S and save this. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next one, I'll continue modeling the eye sockets. But for now, that'll do it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I just want to finish where we left off the last time and that is on the eyes. I just want to make a couple of quick modifications. So in edit mode, I'm going to press Z and just select wireframe. Okay, I'm going to press control tab and left select edge. And I'm, I'm actually just going to press Z and bring back solid shading. I want to select this entire ring around the eye here and I'm going to press alt and left select. Okay. I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel, press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. Okay. I'm going to press 1 for front view. Now, what I'm going to do is press W to bring up the specials menu and under loop tools, I'm going to come down here to circle and left click. And that just puts my eye socket in, it basically transforms it into a circle. So that should fit these UV spheres a little bit better. I'm just going to pull this out slightly. Press 1. And I'm going to drag it in the X a little bit just to line up a little bit better. And I'm also going to drag it down in the Z direction. Okay, I'm just going to drag it back slightly. So I'm just going to line it up each side here and top and bottom so you can. Okay. Now I can see here, I can press S and scale this in a little bit without overlapping. Okay. I'm just going to left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press the middle mouse button just to, okay, that's pretty close. It's not not perfect by any means. I'm just going to press, I'm going to press S to scale again, and just scale that in. Okay, a little bit too far. Come back out here, and when I'm happy, I'm just going to left click and lock that into position. Okay. Now I'm just going to press one for front view here, and I'm going to press. Come over here and press three, 
and I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. Now what I want to do is make a eye socket. So I'm going to press E and just right click to cancel that. And I'm going to press S and I'm going to just right click to cancel that. I'm actually just going to drag it back slightly. And I'm going to press E to extrude again. Right click to cancel and press S to scale. And I'm going to press N and start display. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to drag this back slightly. And I'm going to press E to extrude. And just drag it back and press S and scale this up out past the eye socket. I'm going to press E to extrude again and left click just to lock it in there. I'm going to press E to extrude again, just drag it back, lock it in. I'm going to press E one more time, just drag it back slightly. I'm going to press S and I'm just going to scale this in to almost the full way. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. Okay, I'm going to press Z and come back to solid. Okay, that's, that's not looking too bad. There's not much of a gap there between the eye and the socket. Okay, so I'll be happy with that. I'm going to press Control S and save that. Okay, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, uh, as you've noticed, I've made a couple of changes. I've reduced the size of his mouth. I've just kind of closed it and I've pulled a couple of points just to clean him up a small bit. Okay, today I want to model the inside of his mouth. So I'm going to press Control Tab, Control Tab and left select Edge. I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm actually going to come over here to subdivision surface modifier and just reduce the views to one for the moment to speed my computer up a small bit. Okay, I'm going to press press and hold alt and left select this his mouth opening. I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to press Z and left click wireframe. Okay, what I want to do is extrude this section back into the mouth. So what I'm going to do is press E to extrude and just drag it back slightly. I'm going to press S to scale and Z for the Z axis just for the moment and pull this out. Okay, left click just to lock that in. I'm going to press E to extrude again and just drag this back slightly. Left click, lock that in. I'm going to Come over to the front view and press S and just scale this up. Okay, left click and lock that in. I'm just going to drag it back now. To about here, I'm going to press S to scale and this Y and push this in. Okay, I'm going to press S and Z to scale in the Z axis. Just to open this up a little bit. Left click to lock that in. Okay, what I want to do now is press Control plus and Control plus again, just to select what we're working on here. And I want to inv invert this selection, so I'm going to press Control i That inverts the selection, so now I can press H and hide everything that's selected. Okay, I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button and I'm going to press Z and left select solid. Okay, I'm just going to zoom, the, roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to press control tab and left select vertex. I just want to pull these apart slightly. Okay, press and hold the middle mouse button. I'm going to press control tab again and left select edge. I'm going to press and hold alt and left select this entire back edge. 